This is the Maxus T60 4x3 Pro. At 948,000 pesos, it is one of the most affordable diesel pickups that you can buy right now. How does it compare to other base model diesel pickups in the segment, like the Ford Ranger XLS 4x2? Let's find out! I'd have to admit, when I first saw photos of the T60, it didn't quite catch my eye. But looking at it in person, I'd say it looks a lot more impressive. It is the longest and widest pickup in its class, and you get to appreciate its size more when you're standing right next to it. Being this big does add a lot of foggy points. It does look quite imposing. It is 11 millimeters longer and 40 millimeters wider than the Ford Ranger, which used to be the biggest in its class. The Ranger is slightly taller though. This base variant gets halogen headlamps. The top of the line gets projector LEDs. The centerpiece here at the front is this massive grill with a huge Maxus logo at the center. The top of the line variant has an all chrome grill, while this base variant has black inserts, which I actually prefer. The hood has this quirky design where it overlaps the fender and the headlight. That is not bad fitment, it is designed that way. On the sides, it has these massive fender bulges. This base variant has 17 inch wheels, the top of the line gets 18s. You have these straight, hard body lines on the sides, which give the T60 a pretty angular look when you see it from the side. All variants come with aluminum step boards as standard. At the back, it is your standard fair boxy look that you'd expect from a pickup. Overall, it's not a bad looking pickup, especially in this dark gray color. Looks are of course subjective, but I suggest that you look at it in person before you judge, because I do think that it looks a lot better in person than it does in photos. This is the interior of the Maxxis T60. First impressions, in terms of materials, this is leaning more towards durable than luxurious. Uh, almost everything is made of hard plastic. It has a uh, urethane steering wheel. It's plastic. Uh, this is also plastic. But at this price bracket, I would say this should be expected. The seats are covered in fabric, but um, it doesn't feel cheap. Uh, it's non-porous. In terms of design though, um, it's not a bad looking interior, especially compared to other base model pickups. The chrome accents and the silver accents make it look a bit more premium than other base model pickups in the market. In terms of space, I have about, I'm guessing, 3.5 to 4 inches of headroom. I am 5 foot 8. Overall, this feels a bit more spacious than the um, Hilux and the Navara. Here we have a cup holder. And you have another one over here. And you have two over here. So you have so you have a total of uh, four cup holders here at the front. Two USB ports over here. You have single zone climate control. And over here you have an ashtray and a 12 volt outlet. Uh, you get a seven inch pin. Uh, you also get a reverse camera, although the resolution is uh, not the best in the market So you get analog gauges. Yeah, you get an analog speedometer and an analog tachometer And at the center you have a multifunction display you also get cruise control and uh, Buttons for your infotainment screen By the way one quirk is that When you press the buttons you get this very audible click And you don't get a push to start button. 
Instead, you have to put the key inside the keyhole. Okay, so I'm at the back seat now. And I think of all the pickups that I've been in, this is the most spacious. I have quite a lot of legroom here. I'm five foot eight. I have about, I'm guessing that's three and a half to four inches of headroom. You also get two air vents here and one 12 volt outlet. You don't get a center armrest though. The T60 is powered by a 2.8 liter turbocharged diesel engine. It produces 148 horsepower at 3,400 RPM and 360 newton meters of torque at 1,600 RPM. Transmission options are either a 6-speed automatic or a 6-speed manual. As for the suspension, the T60 has a double wishbone suspension at the front and a rigid axle leaf spring suspension at the back. Everything is built around a robust box frame chassis. It's good that I got to test drive the manual variant of the T60 because I got to have a better feel of the 2.8 liters power curve. I've owned a 2.2 Rager before and I'd say the power curve is very similar. There's a lot of torque down low. It has so much torque that oftentimes first gear isn't even necessary. I can't go uphill at second gear at just 1,100 RPM with minimal difficulty. When you rev it up, that's when you notice the difference between the T60 and its more powerful competitors. It doesn't accelerate as quickly, but it doesn't feel underpowered, especially if you're gonna use it for its intended purpose, which is carrying loads. Its payload capacity is 1,020 kilograms, which is slightly less than the Ranger. Towing capacity is 2,500 kilograms, which is the same as the Ranger 2.2. The T60 comes with a six-speed transmission. The gear ratios also feel about the same or similar to the 2.2 Ranger. The shifter feels very notchy. It feels like it clicks into place rather than slides into place. And it's not a bad thing. In fact, it, it feels kind of satisfying. Steering is hydraulic, so it's not as light as the steering of the Ranger. It is not heavy though. And it gives you more feedback than the electrically assisted steering of the Ranger. So we're gonna try doing a U turn here. This is a four lane road, the T, four lane lanes. So I tried this with the Maxxis G50 and I was able to do it in. Okay, so about three and a half lanes as well. So yeah, I'm in second gear, I'm going uphill and I'm doing about 1000 RPM. That's something that I can't do on my sedan. It's not bad, dude. The right quality is not bad. That was a pretty rough uh, section of road. Ride quality is not bad for a pickup. Um, even when driving alone, it is not jarring. It's not the most comfortable in the segment. That title belongs to the Navara, but it's not the most harsh either. NVH levels are not bad compared to other diesel pickups. 
At idle, you can barely hear the engine. When you accelerate, you do hear a bit of diesel clatter, which is expected. It's not quite as noisy as the Navara, but not as quiet as the Ranger. As for fuel efficiency, I'm getting an average of around 9 kpl in the city. Visibility is pretty good. It is better than on the Ranger. On the Ranger, there's a huge blind spot where the A-pillar meets the side mirror. On the T60, the A-pillar isn't as thick and the side mirrors aren't as big. So your blind spot is not as large. The dashboard is not as high as on the Hilux and their seating position is pretty high so you get a lot of front visibility. Given the truck size, it is a given that there's a bit of body roll in the corners. It feels like driving a tank in a way. You feel like you're driving something massive. You're riding very high up. You can see the wide hood in front of you. And other cars on the road start to look like large speed humps. The Ranger XLS 2.2 has a slight advantage in power. But it's a difference that I think you'll barely notice. They both come with either a 6-speed automatic or a 6-speed manual. They both have cruise control. Like the Ranger, the T60 also has a 5-star safety rating from the Australian NCAP. Both the T60 and the Ranger XLS have similar materials on the interior. Fabric seats, urethane steering wheels, and hard plastics. The main advantage of the T60 is the lower price. It also has a reverse camera, which the Ranger XLS doesn't have. The T60 also has rear air vents. The T60 Pro comes standard with a bed liner. On the Ranger XLS, that's an optional accessory. The T60 has a longer warranty. It has a 5-year, 100,000km warranty, while the Ranger has a 3-year, 100,000km warranty. Overall, considering the price gap, I think they're pretty evenly matched. It would boil down to your budget and your personal preferences. Maxxis is a newcomer here in the Philippines, but elsewhere, they have been around for a while. It was originally a British brand that was bought by Psych Motors. Psych Motors is one of the biggest car companies in China. And they're the seventh biggest car company in the world. They own MG and they also produce cars for Volkswagen. Here in the Philippines, they're backed by Ayala. If that doesn't give you enough peace of mind, perhaps the five year, 100,000 kilometer warranty will. The T60 is a pretty solid effort from Maxxis. It offers rugged looks, class leading cargo and cabin space, and a pretty decent spec sheet for the price. If you're looking for a budget pickup that's not completely stripped of features, the T60 is probably worth a look. 